Today marks six years of the passing of our sister and best friend. We called her Mel for short. The kids at the studio called her Melly. She had a lot of friends, family members, and people who always 100% supported her and all her decisions and everything that she wanted to do. Like with people and everybody, you have people who will also turn on you. She found the courage to forgive. She found the grace to forgive. And she learned to move on. Millie had a very aggressive form of cancer, two different types of cancers. And she wanted to try everything possible. And every medical measure was taken with no expense spared. She had no money. She had lost her home, land, and everything she owned through foreclosure. And it wasn't through bad business dealings or whatever other rumors you may have heard. She had folks that would um, plot against her that she would lose some of her musical jobs. How she forgave, I don't know. She had the patience and the grace of Job, I guess, and more than what some others would do. We always made a pact and made sure that she was honored and loved and she'd never be forgotten. And she would be remembered in a positive way for all the wonderful things that she taught people and she helped people throughout her musical journey over 38 years of her life. So she's respected and she's loved until we meet her again in heaven on the other side. She was a musical genius. She listened to people. She would give you the shirt off her back even when she didn't have anything to give. So today, as well as every day and every season, we clean her headstone. We have our conversations. We place new flowers. And we talk about the good things and not the bad things. There's always going to be bad people. There's always going to be bad things that happen. Our whole life is terminal. Not in a cancer or diagnosis sense, but terminal in the way that all of our days are numbered. So it's better to live like she did and just try to love who you can. And the ones that you can't love or won't allow you to love, you love them from a distance. And you forgive and you move on. You don't forget. We all have gifts. We all have people who come as form, in forms of angels that touch many lives. She was very non-selfish, very private, loving. She was a given friend, sister, and family member. And we know that she's in heaven, and that's all that matters. She did what she wanted to do, and we all honored her wishes. And we continue to think about her and honor her and keep her in our memories. So this is for you, Melly. We all appreciate you. We all love you and we all miss you. We'll see you again in heaven. Thanks for teaching us a lot of great things.